Welcome to 1050X, Analysis of Transport Phenomena, Module 1 on Mathematical Methods. My name is Martin Bazant, Professor of Chemical Engineering and Mathematics at MIT, and I'll be your guide through an experiment in digital learning to teach graduate level engineering with advanced mathematics in a massive open online course. In this module, you'll learn how to formulate continuum models of heat and mass transfer based on partial differential equations and solve them the old-fashioned way, analytically, using only pencil and paper. Since many problems are too difficult to solve exactly, you will also learn the art of approximation, how to simplify a model enough to obtain an analytical solution while still capturing the key physics. Even in the age of computers, such solutions play a crucial role in the design of engineering systems and our understanding of their operating principles. For example, Consider the design of lithium metal batteries, which could enhance the driving range and power of electric vehicles, if only they could be designed for safe recharging and long cycle life. You've probably seen images of catastrophic battery fires in the news and experienced the frustration of capacity fade in your laptop or cell phone. The problem with metal batteries is that recharging involves electrodeposition to recover pure metal from the ions in solution which is sometimes unstable to the growth of finger-like deposits called dendrites that can cause short circuits. In this course, we will learn how to analyze interfacial mass conservation and transient diffusion to predict when slow, stable lithium growth suddenly transitions to the rapid growth of a dangerous dendrite at the onset of diffusion limitation. A striking feature of dendritic growth is its universality inherited from the common mathematical description of different heat and mass transfer problems studied in this class. For example, copper electrodeposits can resemble viscous fingers that arise when water displaces oil in a porous medium, or snowflakes resulting from solidification limited by heat conduction. In this course, we will survey a variety of mathematical methods and applications through Lightboard lecture videos, which are augmented by online tutorials that promote active learning. At MIT, 1050 is a challenging rite of passage for all first-year PhD students in chemical engineering, and it also attracts students from other science and engineering departments. If you have some familiarity with multivariable calculus and ordinary differential equations, we encourage you to give this course a try Previous exposure to the principles of heat and mass transfer and fluid mechanics is helpful, but not required. If you're ready to work hard, we'll teach you everything you need to know to begin analyzing transport phenomena.